Previously on the Washington Wizards, my GM series. Avdia. Oh, that's a clean release. Avdia's got seven. Let's run a little bit. Oh. <laughs> so we can help off that in the corner. And he gets the block. Run, 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 run. Kuzma. Fred Delon is a playmaker. Set him, set him, set him. Green Bean. Good block, Gafford. Good defense, Gafford. God damn. All right. Reject the screen. And the foul. Let's go. Beautiful play. Beautiful play. I want to save him. Let me just get a good look early on. Finish that pull. Easy, 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 easy. But we walk away with the W on the season opener. We're going to be trading Mike Muscala and immediately release Joe West Wise Camp. We're going to sign Bismack Biombo because we need a reliable backup center. Simulated through the first month and a quarter, I guess, uh, into December, and we finished off that month. 8 and 11, which I'm fine with where the Washington Wizards were not contending for a championship. Don't really care about our record this season. I really just want to build and progress our young players. Um, as a reminder, these are the stats for our team. Leading scorer is Jay Paul. It's hoping he'd average around 22 or 23 points per game. Um, followed by Kuzma, Kispert, Avdia. He's struggling with efficiency. I lowered his shot tendency. His efficiency is hurting. Um, so told him to take a few less shots, but here's the stats on everybody else. Gallo is having a solid year, shooting 36.5% for three, so maybe around the trade deadline we can trade him and cash out on his value to a contending team. We are going to simulate into December 22nd to face Golden State. It's going to be an away game, so Jordan Poole is going back to San Francisco. Um, so it's going to be his revenge game, but we got to simulate there first. We got a couple games quite a few games before that were three weeks away. Hopefully Jordan Poole doesn't get injured before that because that would be really anticlimactic. And as I start talking about injuries, Corey Kusper breaks his fucking right leg. He was actually shooting the thread off the ball, man. Or no, the skin off the ball. That's the proper term. He was shooting 50% from three. 51% from the field, 17 a game. He was having himself a season and now he's gonna be out for a month and a half at the very least. There goes our sixth man. So now who's going to get all those small forward minutes? Koulibaly is going to get a lot of them. We might have to play Landry Shamit a bit. We beat the 76ers by 5. We have a trade offer. Knicks want to give us Mitchell Robinson and Harden sign for Kuzma. Nah, we have Gafford. I'm chilling. Loose the Pelicans, beat the Pacers. We're kind of just hovering around 500, just kind of below 500. We're in the playing picture as it stands currently. I mean, I'm not saying I'm tanking, but it would really help our rebuild out <laughs> if we could get like a top five pick. So I don't see anybody getting fleeced in this trade, so I'm going to allow this one. But now the revenge game for Jordan Poole going back to Golden State, San Francisco. 2K has to stop forcing their player models to wear suits going into games because nobody fucking does that anymore. I mean, maybe Chris Paul's old head ass would, but Atlanta is first in the Eastern Conference. All right, we got to get at least 30 points for Jay Poole in his return to San Fran. Oh, let me take it off this camera. What the fuck? He does have Clay Thompson guarding him, so it's going to make it a bit challenging because 2K still gives Clay elite defense. He's not an elite defender anymore, but 2K still juices his ratings. Full bar. I think I was too drained on stamina to make that shot. I think the same thing applies to my defensive philosophy against the Pacers. I'm gonna put Avdia, oh shit. I'm gonna put Avdia as the primary defender against Curry. We got a mismatch here, we gotta take advantage of a quick, oh my god. Avdia as the primary defender against Curry. We will live with Draymond Green trying to create his own offense. Why are they doubling Avdia? Oh, cause he has a mismatch, okay. Go to work Avdia. Go to work, Avdia. That's how we gotta get that efficiency. I just take advantage of mismatches. 
No, why did we switch? That was un an unnecessary switch there. Damn, that's good ball movement. That's good ball movement. We tried our best, but eventually Clay was let loose. Mistimed. Fuck. Okay, I'm getting some easy ones. I'm just not hitting. And then Kevon Looney is hitting heavily contested layups. Can we get pull open for one of these off these uh, three point plays? I don't know what play that was. We got a clean lot for Gafford though. Hey, they're gonna make these contested jumpers. It's Clay and Curry. Okay, I'm gonna run this play again because I think they're leaving Jordan Poole open before he even gets a screen set on him. Oh my God, <laughs> yo! But they can't defend Gafford in this pick and roll action. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Man, it's so hard to guard. Okay. Um, let's try to get J Pool open in a pick and roll set. But we don't want to run pick and rolls with Draymond as the help defender. We got to exploit Kavon Looney. Just got to keep exposing Kavon Looney. Maybe it's going to be the Daniel Gafford game. Maybe he goes off for 30. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We got to have this dance. We got to have this dance. Former mentor against the former mentee. He needs some. Damn, I just can't time pool's release anymore. What's going on? Okay, they might help here. Or not. They're just going to leave Curry on an island. Easy bucket for Avdia. J Pool gets backdoored. That's why you got trade to pool, man, because of defensive gas like that. There he goes. Finally, green one with pool. That was a good little set. But he keeps giving up points on the other end because he cannot navigate these screens. We're going to call a timeout early on. So we got Koulibaly, Gallinari, and uh, DeLon Wright coming in. Got him up in the air. Oh, and Gaffer misses the easy one. That's a five-point swing. Gaffer, you got to make that dunk, bro. We can't find any open looks right now. It's got it down bad. All right, going back to the Gaffer pick and roll because that's the only thing that we can do consistently. Gallo three ball. Oh my, bro, they gave him a 40% contest. Wow, we're down 10. Timeout again. Timeout again. This is bad. <laughs> oh, Clay is killing us. Clay has 12 points in the first quarter. Needed that, finally. Finally, we get a three ball. Okay, Bianca. Oh my god, he got ripped immediately. <laughs> I tried to get into the post, and Gary Payton just ripped his ass immediately. Goodness, man. We're down 13. I didn't expect to win this game, but I didn't expect to get killed this badly early on. Good drive from Kuzma. That was a nice little handoff play. Let's give it to Kuz in the post. Just use your, use your size advantage. Wow. All right, he got the putback. Goodness. And we got a two for one out of that low key. Clay. Oh my bruh. This man can't miss this quarter. 15 in the first. There we go. Good action. Down 10 if we can get a stop to end the quarter. All right, Clay. You're. If Clay made that, I might have turned my Xbox off. And I got to figure out how to get going offensively. We got to get more open looks from the perimeter for sure. I might go to some small ball with Gallo at the five for a bit. All right, let's go back to that pick and pop. We got to expose Gallo. Or not Gallo, expose Saric. There we go. Stretch five Gallo was in the building. Two threes for him. 
Oh, uh, but Koulibaly got caught up on that screen. They get the three right back. Gotta run another pick and pop. If they switch, we know what to do. Oh, but they leave Kuzma this time. Good rotations. Or not good rotations. Good ball movement. All right, now the offense is starting to turn up a little bit. Um, oh, my God, bro. We have way too many turnovers this game. Way too many. Sarge is creating offense. That's when you know you're down bad. I have Gallinari's release down pat. Oh, good hands, Gallo. He's been the player of the game. This Almost turned it over again. Uh, there's got to be a mismatch somewhere, right? Yeah, Kuzma. Okay, Kuzma, you have the, the speed mismatch here. If you can get all the way. Nice. There we go, only a three point game. All right, high pick and pop with Gallo. Let's see if they defend it differently this time. Nope, actually they do, they switch. So now I got a mismatch here. Easy money, Gallo has 11 points in the first half. Good defense, Gafford. Oh shit. Damn, and Chris Paul is hitting a 59% contested three, are you serious? Okay, I'm gonna run a pick and pop here, but I'm gonna reject the screen. Never mind, I just run out of bounds. And Chris Paul out here just cannot miss from three. What the fuck? We were down three and we were knocking on the door for the longest time. Another turnover. Holy, just like that, we're down double digits. It's normally Golden State that you gotta worry about with turnovers. But on on this day, they're they're killing us with turnovers. Three ball for Poole, Finally, I was supposed to get him 30 points at the very least. That's not happening. I didn't mean to hit that button. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, down 12. Another three for Poole. Back to back threes. Gaffer, 10 points and five boards in the first half. He's been an efficient source of offense in that pick and roll. Um, I want to get Kuzma back in the game for the final two, so I'm going to foul real quick. Wiggs in the high post. Oh, it's actually a play for Clay. I'm there, though. I'm there, though. W, defensive recognition. Money. Let's go. Pool 10 points. There we go. I started getting active with pool. Only down three. We're coming back. Bro, CP3 goes to Golden State and all of a sudden you can't miss a three. Good lay. What? 5% contested layup. Oh my god. We were literally just down three, and now we're down double digits again. Thank you. Come again. Another turnover. <laughs> oh, wow. Stupid-ass mistakes. How many turnovers do we have in that half? Eight compared to one. Eight to one. Hell no. Draymond, you can take as many pull-up mid-ranges as you want, bro. Take advantage of that mismatch. Six points for Avdia. Oh, Curry got open. It's hard guarding Curry off ball. That's the hardest player to guard off ball in NBA history. That was open? I feel like I was right there. I'm running this play again. I'm getting open looks off it, but I'm just making stupid mistakes. This time we got a layup for Jones. So we can get a lot of open shots out of that same action it's a good ass shot from Wiggins that was a good step back double screen for pool damn all the way let's go and one let's go Tyus Tyus is scoring this game I didn't really score with him much in the first gameplay, but I'm scoring within this game. Gotta stop these threes, though. Good defense, Avdia. And he gets the board. Go to the mismatch. Immediately go to the mismatch. 
Oh, they switched. Now we got Poole. Got an ISO Curry. Another foul. Back to the line. That's what we were doing in the first game. We were getting to the line. What the fuck? I got hoed out of a point there. That's a block. Let's go, Gafford. Easy money. Let's go, Poole. Let's go, Poole. He's already tired. What the fuck is up with his stamina? You know what? It is really tiring defending Clay Thompson off ball, so... Alright, so I'm gonna need Trey Jones to be responsible for a lot more offensive action. Because now Poole's tired. I, he doesn't have any legs. You're gonna miss a lot more threes. Hell no, Draymond. Denied. Hell no, Draymond. Another block for Gafford. And I gotta get going with Kuzma a bit more, but he's tired as well. Foul. Let's go. Back to the line. We're getting into the line a lot this quarter. Alright, let's call a timeout. Let's get a breather for Poole. Because Poole's gonna play into the three minute mark of this quarter. So let's try to expose Kevon Looney in the pick and pop. Let's go! And let's just be a bit more aggressive with Tyus Jones. He's going to have to take on more offensive responsibility right now. Oh my god, that screen just completely stopped Tyus Jones. Good defense. Wow, better offense. There it is. There it is. We're still getting open. We'll pull off ball. Mismatch. And a foul. How many is that on Curry? That's only two, really? How is that a... Wow. Good defense, Gallo. Oh my... 100% smothered. Gallo, go to work. Two people contested. We still recovered. Let's go. All right, let's get this under five. ISO. ISO. All the way. Ty Jones with 11. No. Oh my God. Whenever we get it to five or below, they just respond with a timely three. Well, we got to wait. Damn, they're doubling Ty Jones. They're that afraid of him. And Paul just does not feel any contests in the mid-range. Hit the wrong button. I'm so used to Gallo being at the four. Let me see if I can create. Kuzma. Catch and shoot. There we go. We get Kuzma open for a three ball. Oh, good defense, Kulabali. No way. Oh, my God. You gotta be kidding me, bruh. You gotta be kidding me. I was right there. I was right there. I was right there. Gallo's tired, I think. Yeah, Gallo's tired. Okay, let's get Biombo in. Oh, my. That three ball that Clay hit just deflated me completely. I can't believe he made that. He's gonna make another one. Watch. Down, what, 11? Was it 86 to 75? I swear, whenever we make like a little mini run to get it to below five, they just hit a three and then get a turnover and it just completely stalls our momentum. All the way, Shamit. That's another foul on Curry. But we draw another foul. All right, just let's just keep going to the rack, man. Doesn't look like Golden State can defend without fouling. That's been a problem with them historically. All right, we got team takeover, so I got to be able to generate some offense and spark this comeback a bit. Oh. Yep, let's just use Kuzma's finishing takeover. Get to the rim. CP3 is ISOing. He's tired. He's gassed. He can't create separation. Good defense, Koulibaly. Bro, Koulibaly's had some good defensive possessions. All the way. Let's go! 
down six. Kuzma with 17. I wasn't going to settle. I was going to use Kuzma's finishing takeover there. Good defense, good defense, good defense. Team takeover's gone. Woo! That was scary. Oh, I'm late. Oh my god, I hadn't shot with DeLon Wright this entire game. But I have to realize I'm consistently late with everybody I use. That's a good baseline drive from Curry and he misses a seemingly wide open layup. But 2K said it was 28%. I'm going to accept it. Layup for DeLon Wright on the other side and we're down four. And they need a timeout. Get it back to him. Why did you cut into the paint pool? Stay on the perimeter. He's tired. He can't create. Oh! I'm just not going to say anything anymore. That's off. Got to be. Oh, no. Here, here they go. Hitting contested shots again. All the way, DeLon. Let's go. You're giving me some good minutes. Not going to lie. Now, bro, Chris Paul is getting every ankle breaker animation when he's tired. Let's go to a pick and pop with Gallo. They leave him open. I was waiting to see if they would rotate off him, but they leave him open. Ah, yeah. Oh, switch. I'm late. Why? I don't know why. I just can't adapt. I tried to cheat the screen. Curry doesn't make me pay, though. I'm going to run the play again. I keep getting open looks out of it. I'm going to keep running it until they can stop it. I just have to hit the re release. There we go. There we go. I was honestly still a little bit late on that, but 2K gave it to me this time. Let's just string together some stops. Actually, let me foul real quick. Oh! Oh, I tried to die for it! Foul, 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 foul. I want to get these subs in. I want to get Kuzma back in. This is going to be the closing lineup, so it's do or die right now. Curry's tired. Doesn't matter. His pool is... Oh, I was about to say pool is setting some good screens, but he literally didn't connect with Curry at all there. You get a lob out of it. There we go, Gafford. Welcome back to the game. Actually, no, let's put Poole on Draymond. He's not going to swing on you in the middle of the game, so we can we can hide him defensively against Draymond. That's a slot. Oh, no! Wow, bro. Dario Saric, seriously? Dario Saric is getting an ones off of smothered layup animations. Get the fuck out of here. Good drive, Kuzma. Okay. Let's get these switches correct. Okay, good defense. Let's go. So he has playmaking takeover. I think that's just like platinum dimer, basically. Let's go! Kuzma's got 22. They need a timeout. Ooh, I'm getting achievements out here. Good defense, good defense. Fatality. Oh my god, how many blocks does Gafford have? Keep running, y'all. Keep running, keep running, keep running. Pool. Let's go! I 100% I was late on that. I 100% was late on that, but 2K gave me the green. We finally got the lead. Good defense, good defense. Stay honest. Ah! Okay, at least it's not an N1. Can I just ISO with the lawn? Curry's tired. We got the takeover. Hell yeah. I was about to say. I was about to say. <laughs> DeLon Wright's had himself a game, man. Right on cue. Keep going, Gaffrey. Bro. DeLon Wright is having himself a game. Seven points, nine dimes, probably like two or three steals. Clamping up Curry. Clamping up Curry. He's got to pass it. All right, now Clay. Now Clay is about to. Wow. Never mind. Good pass. Okay. Going back to this play. 
Actually, no, this is a different play. Kuzma has takeover, so let's just use that. Get all the way. What a Euro! What a Euro! Woo! That was nice. That was nice. Get a hand up. Okay, I thought he was going to pull there immediately. Good defense. Good double team. We could leave Draymond and double team Curry. Alright, ISO. Light skin on light skin violence. Cross escape. Cross explosion. Scoop lay. It's four fouls on Curry. Whoever offense on Curry. Okay, Pool has a quick release. We can adapt to that. Green, let's go. We're up five. Pool has takeover. Everybody's getting takeover when it matters most. Ah! Uh, wow, Clay missed when it mattered most. Get it to pool. They're gonna foul. Let's go. We got this in the bag. Okay, let me actually focus up and hit my free throws. Okay, let me focus up. This game isn't over. God damn it. There we go. Okay. Now they have to go for a three. They use too much time. Hands, 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 hands. Hands, hands, hands. Oh my goodness. 59. Right on cue. Another 59% contested three. I'm oh. fast as fuck, boy. Pool's too fast. Floater. Let's go up. I don't know what the fuck they were doing. <laughs> they didn't foul. But I'm going to take it. That's a good W. It was looking really dicey in the first half. Not going to lie. Before I forget, let me find. <laughs> oh, I like that. Alright, we got our thumbnail. We're good to go. Walking out of here with a W. Good ass game, man. As I was saying, it was looking dicey in the first half, but... Second half, we really tightened up, got a lot more open looks on the perimeter, took advantage of the mismatches when we got him. Danilo Gar Gallinari was huge for us off the bench, same with DeLon Wright. Gallinari taking advantage of mismatches, lethal in the pick and pop. DeLon Wright being a menace against Curry, uh, defending him on the perimeter. He went 10 for 24, but 3 for 11 from 3. You really just want to slow him down from outside. Chris Paul is really good for them, they probably fucked up by not having him play in the fourth quarter. And Clay really went off in the first half. He had 17 in the first and then was really quiet in the fourth. He only had zero. Or he didn't have anything in the fourth. And then for us, Poole really came alive in the second half. First half was kind of rough. Four for 11 the second half. And the fourth quarter specifically. 11 in the fourth. A lot of those were free throws late in the game. But 17 in the second half, 3 for 6 from outside. Kuzma, 16 in the second half, didn't miss a single shot. Uh, 10 for 12 from the field. He was the player of the game. Gallinari had 16 off the bench, 4 for 8 from downtown. Gafford was big time in the pick and roll and anchoring the defense. Four blocks for Gafford. Tyus Jones was really good. I had to be aggressive with him offensively when Poole was tired. 12 and 6, 5 for 8 from the field. Got to the free throw line quite a bit. Up to 12 and 16, we're gonna close this vid out by simming to January. I think next video we'll get to the trade deadline and see if we're gonna offload a Danilo Gallinari. Kispert has come back a lot quicker than I thought he would. Okay, first games after that thriller in San Fran, going against Orlando, a rebuilding team. If 2K decides that it wants to act like a simulation and actually simulate games. Oh, they have a trade. Oh, Boston, active again. This trade doesn't really make sense for either team. Okay, I'm just going to decline this trade, but I mean, we get the dub against Orlando. I'm going to turn off trade approval because, like, you know what? If these teams want to make stupid-ass trades, then I'm just going to let them. We get the dub against Orlando. High-scoring game. Pool drops 38, 14 of 14 from the free throw line. Let's see if we can get a close game against Toronto. No, we kind of blow them out. They came back a little bit at the end of it, but 
and we're blowing out Brooklyn 130 to 106 Kispert 31 off the bench welcome back in the second or third game back something like that pool with 25 damn we're about to be 500 again are we gonna be a playoff team are we gonna be hunting a playoff spot in our first year after Bradley Beal's departure okay 145 good enough we're just gonna hop in and watch this one unfold oh, actually no they have Gallinari instead of Avdia in right now pool is hella tired but he draws the foul on Okongu and one Sadiq ill-advised shot Hunter Bucket. <laughs> that was contested. Shout out to Hunter. He hit it. But damn. Who do we go to? Are we still going to go to Pool, even though he has DeJounte on him? Or are we going to go to Kuz? We go to Pool, even though he's tired. Pool. Oh. You know, that wasn't a bad look. But let's try to be competitive, man. Tanking would be taking the easy way out of things. That's not what I'm about. But let's actually win this game first and not give up wide open catch and shoots in the corner. He's him. He's him. Certified. He is not afraid of the moment. Maybe Poole is our franchise player. Guys, please guys, stop giving up threes. They're going to foul again. They're going to get an opportunity to tie the game. Because when they foul, it's going to be like six, no, seven and a half seconds left. He's still a good free throw shooter. He's not going to crumble under pressure. So they have to hit a three. They got no timeouts. They need a three and they go to DeJounte Murray, not Trey Young. They go to Clint Capella. What? That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. That's the worst late game execution I've seen in my life. After they hit back to back clutch three balls to keep them in the game, they go to Clint Capella with five seconds left on the clock or less than that. But hey, a win is a win. I think we close out December on a win. I think we had a really good record in December. Pool had 34 that game, 12 of 13 from the field, 5 of 11 from three. Avdia 16, 12, and 4. Kuzma, an all right 15 and 8. Gallo, man, Gallo's been big. We're currently on a five game win streak. We're eighth in the conference. Stats on the year. Um, Pool is almost back to 20 per game, 19 and a half. Kispert, 16.7. Did he sustain another injury or is that just lingering from his broken leg? Nah, he suffered another injury. I, I low key don't want to play Shamit. This man shot 23% from three. Johnny Davis. Calling you up, my guy. Kuzma's doing his thing. 16 and a half. Not shooting well from three right now. I might lower his three-point shot tendency. Avdia is above 40% from the field again. 13 a game. Seven rebounds. Three and a half assists. Providing great defense. Gallo, we saw what he was doing. Tyus Jones, 11 and four. Gafford 10 and 9, 2 blocks a game. DeLon Wright 7, 4, 1.5 steals per game. Uh, Koulibaly 6 a game, 45% from 3. That's uh, not from 3, from the field. That's really good for him. As somebody who's not known as a uh, seasoned offensive player coming into the league, 45% from the field, I, I'm happy with that. So, next episode, we're going to the trade deadline, which is February 8th. And what would be an interesting game to play? Maybe play the defending champions? Play them or Wimby? Oh my god, the Spurs are 3-29. and I want to play a challenging team, and I say that, but the Nuggets are 15-19. and Somehow. Okay, we'll play the Heat. They're 22-10 and right now. Uh, we'll play them on February 2nd. Maybe I'll simcast this Nuggets game and see. Atlanta is still first in the East. Miami second. We are 8th, 500 exactly, out west, Memphis, Golden State, LA, um, Portland's 5th, Portland and then Phoenix, how poetic is that? <laughs> and the Nuggets are 12th, the Timberwolves are 11th, the Mavericks are 13th, the league's best offense is the Atlanta Hawks, uh, the league's best defense is the Miami Heat so we'll be taking on the league's best defense 
uh, in the next episode. Where we currently stand offensively, uh, bottom third at 23rd, and defensively, we are middle of the pack, which I think was the case at the start of the video, or at the end of the last video, whenever I checked the last. So I mean, if we're going to be gunning for a playoff spot, then I'm obviously not going to be picking in the top five. And hey, I could gun for a, a playoff spot and we fall short, we end up in the lottery. It is what it is, but I think we have enough talent on this team to go for an eight seed. Based off what I've seen thus far, we're not even halfway through the season, but like everybody's hooping right now pretty much. So why not make a push for the playing tournament or the eight seed, seven seed, maybe even the six seed? Who knows what the season holds for us?